There's a really common misconception that we work really hard to dispel for anyone who visits the Santa Cruz Mission State Historic Park. The idea that Native Americans kind of just disappeared at the end of the mission era is part of a larger myth in the U.S. that Indians are from the past. But as you've probably noticed with increasing awareness and prominence in pop culture, TV, movies, even musical theater, Native Americans are still here and Native Californians are no exception. The shock of Spanish contact was traumatic to Native culture and the impact of foreign diseases that Native Californians had no immunity to or that Europe had no solution to led to catastrophic deaths. 90% of Natives at the Santa Cruz Mission died within 10 years of the mission's establishment. Even the Padres wrote with concern about the situation, desperately trying to force conversions on peoples from further afield to upkeep population numbers. But 10% lived on, with increased persistence, overcoming incredible adversity. As Mexico won its independence and the missions were dissolved, the original plan from Spain had been to give mission lands to the indigenous people who had lived and worked there. Unfortunately, greed prevailed. Native people were removed from their homelands to work on missions, and in the end were not given back their lands, nor were they typically allocated the land, livestock, or resources of the missions. Instead, they were forced into the margins of society and the landscape, squatting on California ranchos or working as servants and seasonal labor for those who were granted lands. And they didn't go away, but did in some ways become invisible to mainstream society as a survival mechanism. It was dangerous to be Indian.